What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite websites to track all of your stocks and cryptos and no, it is not Seeking Alpha. I know I have put out plenty of videos showing Seeking Alpha, but another website that I use a lot that you have probably seen in several of my videos is TradingView. By far the best charting software and also it is just a great thing to have saved in your um, bookmarks on your webpage. If you just want to check your stocks really quick, see how the market's doing, see when earnings are coming out. Absolutely killer site. I'm going to walk you through it all. The last time I made a video about TradingView was one of my very first videos when I probably only had like 12 subscribers. We are coming close to 15,000 subscribers. We're at 14,300 right now. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash the like button to help boost the algo of this video. Uh, you guys all rock. I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting. Uh, and I keep cranking out new videos every single week. So make sure to check all that out. But guys, I'm going to walk you through trading view. It, maybe you do know about it. Maybe you don't. But after this video, you were definitely going to know about it. And you're probably going to fall in love with it like I did. Before I show you this, I just want to show you really quick something like Robinhood, which I'm sure all of you are familiar with, TD Ameritrade, which is another very popular brokerage, and then, of course, Seeking Alpha. Uh, you know, they may have a lot of good information when it comes to fundamentals. I mean, Robinhood has no good information. <laughs> it just shows you the price, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there may be some news articles to click on, but Robinhood is really bare bones. It just shows you a nice little line chart, and that's it. I mean, I, I hate Robinhood's lack of information. TD Ameritrade, yeah, you got some good information here, but to me, it's just, it, it's not user-friendly. It doesn't look nice. It's hard to navigate. And Seeking Alpha, all the fundamentals and everything you could want is in here, but they really don't have that good of charting software. So that's why we're going to be looking at trading view. So let's hop back over. I'm in an incognito window. So this is the first thing you'd be seeing if you never check trading view out. But you know, this is their homepage. And you could see you could have all these complex charts, looking at these different things, putting in different technical analysis. If you're someone that is a TA trader, you love the technical analysis that you you need to use this app. I mean, it is absolutely incredible what you could do with it. Uh, they did just have an update. At least their logo is now different. Um, I really don't see too many differences with how I use it day to day. But let's just see what happens if we search markets. We got all stocks, futures, forex, cryptos, all of these different things that you can look at. And then you can go right to charts up here this is where I am 99% of the time. I am looking at these charts. You could have a watch list. And guys, this is free. All right, free, you only get one watch list and that's it. And you're limited to the amount of um, technical analysis that you could put on. So right now you can see we have some volume down here. But this is, this is trading view. This is where you're going to get when you log on, you want to look at a stock. So we're looking at Apple or Let's look at the NASDAQ. So QQQ, so pretty much what you get here is you get its price, $358. Uh, and you have this nice candlestick chart. Now what's really nice about TradingView is there's so much that you could customize and you could really modify this chart for however you wanna see it. So right now we are on a day candle chart. Maybe we don't wanna see that. Maybe we want to see, look at this, how about, every hour. So here's the hourly chart. We want to see maybe every five minutes. So here's the five minute chart. We could even look at the one minute chart and we could even get down to the one second chart. All right, you can only see the one second chart if you upgrade, but I, I unless you're some crazy day trader, I really don't think you need to see by the second. Uh, looks like anything less than a minute you have to upgrade to, but I think one minute is more than enough. And now, unlike Robinhood, the way that you could manipulate the chart, look at this, I could scroll down, I could move this, so you could really get in there. So say I wanna really zoom in to this one minute chart and see what's going on here. 
look at this. You could really expand it so I could see down to the penny how the stock is moving. Look at this. You could see off to the here, down to the penny that we're looking at. And then again, at the same time, if you want to zoom out, you're more of a long-term trader. You want to see how it's been doing on a monthly chart. But you could do that and look at whatever you're looking at on the monthly chart. Now, this is just the beginning of it, guys. There's so many technical analysis we could add to it and so much that you could customize with. Before we even get to the technical analysis, one thing that I think is major, let's look at how about the 15-minute chart. Okay, so let's zoom into this. So here you go. Here's the 15-minute chart, and you may see these gaps, and you're wondering what they are. Well, this is after hours, and if you're a day trader, sometimes you want to see these extended hours or after hours, and look at this right here, extended hours available. Click on that, and it will show you. So the blue is after hours, and the yellow is pre-market. So you can see exactly how the stock or the ETF is moving when the market's actually closed. And it doesn't just have to be the 15 minute. We could get down to the one minute. So look at this. The market just closed and here's how it's trading right now. Trading sideways. Let's see how the pre-market was. Let's zoom out a little. All right, here you go. You see the pre-market was a little choppy, really wasn't doing too much. Uh, when the market closed on Monday, it looks like it started to go up. So it's really neat how you could see the pre-market and aftermarket that way. Uh, and that's going to be on your one minute all the way up to 45 minute, I believe. Yeah, you can even see the 45 minute chart. Uh, as soon as you go to the day chart, oh yeah, all the way up to probably four hours. Yep. All of those different colors represent if it's open, closed, or pre-market. But as soon as you go to the one day, and obviously that goes away because you can't see that within the day. But all right, let's get into some of the fun stuff. And we're actually going to jump over to my account. So here's my account. Uh, there is a dark theme option. If you want to do that, uh, you just go over to the main homepage when you create an account. And then right here, you click on this. And here you go, dark color theme. Switch that on and off. And pretty much what we got here, I don't pay for it. So this is all free. I have my list whole bunch of, I have the NASDAQ, all the stocks that I have. Uh, I have the cryptocurrencies that I care about. And I had AMC and uh, GME on here just because uh, it's fun watching them. I'm not in them, but it's fun watching them. Uh, but one of my two favorite, well, two of my favorite TAs, technical analysis, is the 100 and 200 day simple moving average. So there they are right there. Also, I think it's important to look at volume, which is right there. So how, how am I getting this? And what kind of technical analysis can you actually add on TradingView? So any kind of technical indicator you could think of, you could add. So if you go to this little FX button right here and you click on it, go ahead and just search whatever. I mean, there are so many. So here's some favorites, uh, some really basic ones. But you want to look at patterns. You want to look at some built-ins. You can even create some scripts with it. Uh, here's just the public library of everything. There's so many things that you could look at. And let's just search. If we search, how about, I like looking at the relative strength index. So relative right there. So we got the relative strength index, relative volatility index. And then just here's everything, the public library. So there's so many indicators you could add. Let's look at the RSI. Look at that. Now it's down here. And what's even, what's really cool about this is we could adjust all this. This doesn't have to be 70, right? Maybe we want to adjust this by clicking on the little settings right here. So I clicked on this, which gave me this. And if I click here, look at this. I could change all this. You could even change the colors. So maybe I want it, I don't know, I want that line pink or I want it yellow. So you could change that how you like it. Uh, the upper band, I want at 80 instead. The lower band, I want at 20, right? Or maybe you don't. Maybe you want it at 65. Whatever your strategy is, you could put it in there and it updates it. So for the moving averages, maybe you don't like looking at the 100 and 200, right? Maybe you like looking at the 50-day moving average. So let's go to settings. And if we go to inputs, look at this, length 200. Let's make it 50. 
And maybe you don't want it on the close. Maybe you want it on the high or the open. We're going to keep mine on the close for now. But look at that. There is now the 100 and the 50 day moving average. And if you don't want to see those, you can either hide them or you can X out of them if you want. So there's the X's. And again, guys, this is the completely free version. Uh, let's jump over to cryptos really quick. So you can look at all these different cryptos. So here's the only crypto I think that matters, Bitcoin. And you could add all these technical analysis to Bitcoin as well. So if we want to look at the 150 day moving average for Bitcoin, then there we go. And then if we go again, we can look at the weekly chart, the monthly chart. You want to try to day trade Bitcoin. Here's the minute chart. There you go. And I mean, this video could be forever if I'm going to go over everything. Uh, some other cool things that all this stuff down here. You could draw on it if you want. So we could draw stuff. You could put in lines. So here we go. So say, oh, okay, I have a, whoops, I have a support right there. And, you know, maybe I'm trading this and I want it to go up to here, right? So that's my buy-in. And let's delete this. So we could delete that. So we could write on this as well. So if we go up here, maybe we don't want a purple. Maybe we want that like a greenish, bluish, whatever. And if we double click on it, then we can do text. So we'll do buy in, hit okay. We're gonna want that text to be different. We'll make the text white so we can actually see it. So there we go, there's my buy in. And then double click on this, we can make this our target. So there's my target, hit that. And maybe I actually don't want it at that price, maybe we, I want it at exactly 30,000. So then I could just update that. 30, one, two, three, 30,000. Hit okay, boom, and it moves it to 30,000. So you could add all these different drawings on it. And one other thing that I wanna show you guys down here. So Fib Retracement, I think this is a really cool one. So you could do some Fibonacci if you want. And again, all of this is customizable as well. If you want to change the colors, you can. Just got to click on these and look at this. So maybe I want it yellow for whatever reason. So very, very customizable. There's so many things you could do with TradingView. And honestly, what I'm doing most of the times is I'm probably just looking at my stocks in the morning or in the afternoon, seeing how the overall market's trading. And if I just want to know when's earning coming up, I, this is probably what I use TradingView for the most. I'm looking at earnings really quick. I want to know, hey, how many days out before PayPal's earnings? Here it is right there. All right, great. July 28th. Here's what it's expecting. 1.12. When was the last time earnings was? Here it was. Just gives you a really brief explanation of what happened during earnings. And what's even cooler is if we zoom in, we could easily see how the market reacted to the earnings. So right there, you know, it was a down day. Why? Well, maybe because the surprise wasn't as good as everyone was hoping it to be. And if you notice the little E is green, that's because we beat earnings. Let's see, when was the last time PayPal didn't beat earnings? Right here. So we go all the way down here, it was red. Ironically enough, it was red and it had this major gap up. That's why, you know, just proof that you can't predict what's going to happen in the stock market. But I just think it's very cool how you could see earnings. If we go over to a stock that gives dividends, so let's look at Apple. It'll have a little D, which is always going to be a little after the earnings. So then you know, hey, when's my dividend payment? It's right there. And you have some stocks that may be having a split. So NVIDIA will be having a split uh, tomorrow as I'm recording this. And you can see right here, there's the little S. So show you, form one split. So again, this is trading view. I mean, I use it almost every single day, just as much as I use Seeking Alpha. It's such a great way, not only to get super complex, looking at pre-market hours, all these different technical analysis, but it's also just a great chart to really see how your stocks are doing or how the market is doing, when certain dividends or earnings reports are coming out. Overall, great platform to use. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. So this is my honest opinion of it. If you are a new 
investor, definitely check out tradingview.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. And it's, it's just such a great tool. It's really going to help out your trading, especially if you like technical analysis. It is a must-have. But guys, that is, I guess, my review slash showing you of TradingView. Want to show it for the new guys who have recently subscribed to my channel. Because again, the last time I really talked about TradingView was, oh, we're talking about over a year ago now. So check it out. And again, if you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, as always, I will see you in the next one.